Hello, hello, beautiful humans. My name is Jen Chnod. I am a developer advocate here at Ivan. Today, I will show you around the Ivan platform with your Postgres service. Let's get started. Wonderful. So you now know what we're going to be working on today, as well as what we'll be going through in the Getting Started with Postgres series. Go ahead and go to ivan.io. That is A-I-V-E-N dot I-O. In the upper right corner, you'll see an option to log in, book demo, or get started for free. I'm going to choose get started for free, so that way you can see what capabilities are out there. Once selected, you will see multiple options to create your free account. Google, Microsoft, GitHub, or create an email. Go ahead and click through that and finish setting up your account. Perfect. Once you create your account, you'll come to a welcome to Ivan screen. Under name, of course, put your name. Somebody name is not needed. You can click the question mark or read more about organizations if you would like to change the organization name, project name, I'll go ahead and say Gen Demo for this one. I won't be inviting any project members, country and state of provenance. I'm in Arizona. And go ahead and click Done. Perfect. This is what it will look like when you first log in. Now we want to go ahead and set up a Postgres database. We'll go to create a service. There are many different plans in here, like Postgres, MySQL, Redis, Kafka, OpenSearch, Cassandra, InfluxDB, Grafana, M3DB, M3 Aggregator, ClickHouse, Apache Flink, many options. More details on all of those. Today we're sticking with Postgres. When you click it, you will be able to see that there is a free plan or a trial plan. The free plan will continue to be free. The trial plan you will have to pay for after 30 days. You can also change what version you are on. By default, it will be the most up-to-date version that we have. Now we'll go ahead and click the free plan. Under the service region, make sure that you are selecting what is closest to where you're currently at or what is closest to where this project will be held. And for myself, I said that I was in Arizona in the States. So I'm going to go ahead and click AWS US West 2. Awesome. And service plan, pretty self-explanatory. Provider service name, I will just call this demo Demo Gen. You know, make sure that I know the difference between the project name and the service name. And then create free service. This may take a few minutes for us to get set up. You will see on the left side that it will say connection details, go through a few options, and then under service, Postgres equal 15. AWS is the hosting provider. And under deployment status, it is rebuilding. So we can go into the service overview. For now, I'm going to skip over that. Under connection details on the right side, there are options for developer tooling, also different options to be able to connect with. We will be going through those shortly. Underneath connect with, you will see all of the database information that you will need for your Postgres. We're going to go ahead and skip this step in later videos, you will see more about securing your connection. All right. So we are currently looking at our Ivan console. Important things for you to know about. In the very top menu, you have your home projects. This is where I will be able to see if I set up other projects, such as Gen Demo is the one I set up today. If I wanted to set up a MySQL plan, I could, I would create a new project here. Billing in the top menu is going to be if I choose to go with a trial or decide to upgrade support. This is a very, very great option if you need support. 
we're going to go ahead and click go to forum. In the forum, there are many different options for how to get started. If you take a look under category, there's news and announcements, I've been community, and you can see Postgres is there as well. I'm now going to click back into the tab I was previously in. And then there's also your admin option on the top menu. All right. If you need to look at organizational units, there are some options here as well on under platform management on the left side, you'll be able to see authentication. Continuing along the top bar, you will be able to see my organization. You'll be able to click on my organization and it will take you to where you can see an overview of your Ivan console. There's also the question mark in the top menu. That one will let you go to the community forum, documentation, any API docs that you need, Ivan command line, and then Ivan for Terraform. Little person is our own information. And then, of course, the very last one is sign out. I'm going to go ahead and click home. This takes us back to our organization's page. If I scroll down, it will tell me what the health of everything is, as well as any product updates on the right side. Under recent projects, this is where I already was earlier, I will be able to see my current services, such as I made demo demo gen. It's still being built. So during this time, we will go on the left side and under project, we see gen demo. That is my project name. Services, I can see that it is setting up demo demo gen. Integration endpoints. This is going to be an option if you choose to upgrade your plan. It does allow you to integrate with a number of external systems. If you like to try this out, there is a trial that you can do uh, before you choose to upgrade. There's also your virtual private cloud. This peering method, this is something that is an option as an upgrade as well. But it's good to know that they're here in case you decide to do so, as well as you can check out the help article. We also have the event logs. This is going to be a good place for you to see what is going on in this project itself. Continuing down the line on the left, it is members. This will allow me to invite another member and be able to change the type of role that they have, such as admin, operator, developer, and read-only role. And on the very end on the left side is project settings. This will allow you to do any technical emails that you need, as well as where you'll find Billy reference tags and project keys. All right, so going back home, under recent projects, I'm going to go ahead and click Gen Demo. Now we can see that Demo Demo Gen is running with PostgreSQL, one node, three plan, and under the Web Services uh, US West. Go ahead and click in there. This is where you're going to have many options for this database. If we're staying on this current page, you will get the pop-up of Get Started with Ivan for Postgres. This will give you another step-by-step -step guide outside of what we're doing today. If we scroll down, we will be able to see all of our database information and any service integrations if you were to upgrade your plan, any service tags and uh, termination protection, versioning, and what plan you have. Again, this is just going to go through more detail that we already have, and you can also see when any updates are going to be, any maintenance, and we will go through later on about more about IP, allowed IP addresses. Now, we have a second top menu, so within the service itself, with overview, integrations, network, metrics, logs, query statistics, current queries, users, database pools, and backups. We'll go through all of those very quickly. Integrations, it's what we were talking about earlier that is within the left side of the project uh, under project Gen Demo services, integration endpoints. This is another place you can look at it as well. Network, this is about the 
AWS private link. If you need to be able to create a private link, this is going to be something that it, you do need to upgrade your service for. Metrics, you will be able to see the last hour, day, week, month, or year on your CPU usage, disk usage, disk, disk base usage, disk uh, IOPS reads, IOPS writes, load average, memory usage, network receive, and network transmit. Going back up to the top, we are looking at logs. And you'll be able to see what we currently have done and what I've been working on. We can see series. Uh, we can now see query statistics. You can reset your statistics if need be. At the moment, I don't really have anything set up because I haven't put in any data yet. We will be going through that in another video. Right, queries. Again, I haven't set any of this up yet, but it's going to be good for you to know as you're going through this, where things are. Users, this is where if I needed to create a different user other than the default Ivan admin user, this is where I would go to be able to add a service user. Databases, you can already see my default DB right there. If I needed to add an additional database, this is where I would do it. If we, you need anything like connection pools, that is something you would have to upgrade your plan with as well. Just to give you a heads up, this is where it is. And one of the more important things, if you do need to know where your backups are, make sure that you go to the very last page. In this video, we showed you around the Ivan platform with Postgres. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to Ivan. Bye!